What makes Starship Flight 7 the riskiest test yet? Is it the experimental Block 2 upgrades? The inclusion of simulated Starlink payloads? Or the debut of the non-structural catch pins? Perhaps it's all of the above. This mission represents SpaceX's most ambitious and technically demanding test to date. With a multitude of firsts crammed into one flight, the stakes have never been higher. And if successful, the insights gained here could redefine the trajectory of Starship's development and possibly human space exploration itself. First, we'll explore the context and preparation for this mission, then break down why this test is so risky, and finally discuss what success or failure could mean for the Starship program. Over the past few weeks, the activity at Starbase has been nothing short of a frenzy. Booster 14 and Ship 33 have undergone rigorous final preparations. Let's start with the booster. Booster 14 has been fitted with minor hardware tweaks aimed at optimizing performance. These changes might seem small, but in rocket engineering, even a slight modification can have cascading effects. Then there's Ship 33, the real star of the show, showcasing a host of new features that represent the bleeding edge of SpaceX's engineering prowess. One of the most intriguing aspects of Ship 33 is its payload. For the first time, SpaceX is testing the deployment of 10 simulated Starlink satellites. These mass simulators are a crucial step in preparing Starship for its eventual role as a mass deployment platform for Starlink, capable of delivering hundreds of satellites into orbit in a single flight. But make no mistake, adding these payloads introduces complexity. The deployment mechanisms must work flawlessly, and the timing must be precise to avoid any risk of collision or interference during re-entry. To mitigate risks, SpaceX has designed the mission so that the simulators will deploy before the ship performs its in-space burn. This ensures they are at a safe distance from the spacecraft during its re-entry sequence. Still, the challenge is immense. This is uncharted territory for Starship, and even the smallest miscalculation could jeopardize the mission. But it's not just about payloads. Ship 33 is also debuting SpaceX's Block 2 upgrades. These enhancements include adjustments to fuel load distribution, heat shield improvements, and aerodynamic refinements. Let's unpack these changes, starting with the heat shield. SpaceX has been continually refining its heat-resistant tiles, a critical component for surviving the extreme temperatures of re-entry. Ship 33 features a new configuration of tiles, designed to be more durable and provide better thermal protection. However, new designs always carry risks. Will these tiles hold up under the intense heat and stress of re-entry? That's one of the big questions this mission aims to answer. Then there's the ship's structural design. You might have noticed the ramped covers over its stringers, a new addition meant to shield critical components during a potential catch. These covers resemble the ramps we've seen on boosters, but this is the first time they're being tested on a Starship vehicle. The question isn't just whether they'll survive re-entry, but whether they'll provide actionable data to refine future iterations of the design. Speaking of experimental hardware, let's talk about the non-structural catch pins. Unlike the robust pins used on boosters, these are bolted on and not designed to bear loads. Their purpose? To gather data on how such hardware performs during re-entry and whether it could eventually be incorporated into a fully reusable system. It's a bold move to test these on a mission already packed with other innovations. But that's quintessential SpaceX, pushing the envelope to accelerate development timelines. Now let's zoom out and consider the broader context. Why take such risks now? The answer lies in SpaceX's ultimate goal, building a fully reusable spacecraft capable of interplanetary travel. Every test flight is a stepping stone toward that vision, and each one carries lessons that feed into the next iteration. But with Flight 7, the learning curve is steeper than ever. 
This mission isn't just about testing individual components. It's about understanding how all these new elements work together in a real-world scenario. It's a systems-level test, and that makes it inherently riskier. Let's not forget the operational stakes. A successful flight could validate multiple systems and bring SpaceX closer to achieving orbital refueling, high-volume payload deployment, and rapid reuse. On the flip side, a failure, while valuable for learning, could delay the program and raise questions about the viability of some of these ambitious upgrades. But with this approach comes a critical question. Where do you draw the line between pushing boundaries and overloading a test? That's the delicate balance SpaceX must strike with Flight 7. The mission profile is already complex with new hardware, payloads, and maneuvers. Adding one more variable could tip the scales from ambitious to unmanageable. As the countdown to launch ticks away, the excitement and tension continues to build. Will Booster 14 perform as expected? Will Ship 33's upgrades hold up under the extreme conditions of space and re-entry? And what about those Starlink simulators? Will they deploy flawlessly? Each of these questions represents a potential point of failure, but also an opportunity for groundbreaking discovery. Let's also consider the human element. The engineers and technicians at SpaceX have poured countless hours into preparing for this mission. They've analyzed every detail, run simulations, and rehearsed contingency plans. But no simulation can fully replicate the conditions of a live test. That's why every person involved in this mission, from the ground crew to the engineers monitoring telemetry, will be on high alert. Their work doesn't just contribute to this flight, it lays the foundation for all future Starship missions. And let's not overlook the broader implications. A successful Flight 7 could have ripple effects across the space industry. It would solidify SpaceX's position as a leader in reusable spacecraft technology and set the stage for more ambitious missions, including lunar landings and, eventually, Mars colonization. On the other hand, a high-profile failure could provide fodder for critics and competitors, while also serving as a stark reminder of the challenges involved in pioneering new technology. So, as we count down to liftoff, one thing is clear. Flight 7 is a turning point. It's a moment where ambition meets reality, where theory is put to the ultimate test. Success would be a testament to SpaceX's vision and engineering prowess, while failure would offer lessons just as valuable, albeit harder to digest. Either way, this mission will go down as a defining moment in the Starship program. It's a reminder that progress isn't linear and that pushing the boundaries of what's possible always comes with risks. But it's those risks and the courage to take them that drive innovation and propel us toward the stars. As we watch Ship 33 and Booster 14 take to the skies, remember this. Every rivet, every tile, and every line of code has a story. A story of ingenuity, perseverance, and the relentless pursuit of a dream that's bigger than any one mission. Whether Flight 7 soars or stumbles, it's a step forward on a journey that's only just beginning. So, let's hold our breath and witness history in the making. Don't forget to hit that like button, smash subscribe for more jaw-dropping space updates, and join us as we embark on a cosmic journey like never before.